What is it killing, Newton? So we're just going to tie another Blake's hitch here. Uh, we're just going to improvise. So this is a cow hitch. Chop it down. Jeez. It's in medium size, medium to small when you compare it to other trees. It's a, I think it's a Carimbia maculata, which is a spotty, which we call around here. It's a great tree. So Quinn's now arrived. He's here, he's got the truck, he's got drinks. We've had sausage rolls, food. <laughs> uh, I have been sitting here filming myself, talking about how Quinn's running late and I'm a, I'm a bit autistic in that sense. So he's here, we can get the job done now. What do you have to say for yourself? What is the job? Traffic. Peak hour traffic. Peak hour traffic. It's always the excuse. It was Jack's brilliant idea to start a job at 4 p.m. <laughs> so this one here, it's a large split right in the middle there, so oh, it's gonna yeah. come out. Let's have a closer look. You can actually see right through that crack. That's quite a bad crack. And it goes right down past my feet. So that's a good meter and a half of a crack. So what we're gonna do is get a rope up in it. We're gonna get a throw line up there. Jesus. Tie a rope to the top and we're gonna take it down to that, what looks like a red gum maybe down there. Camel, camel Delensis, and we're going to pull it over. We're going to wedge it and we're going to put just a little pig rig on it and pull it over. The wind's going this way, but never rely on the wind because at the last moment the wind will change directions. But we'll put a rope in it, put wedges in it, and chop it down. So we've got this split in the leader in the middle of the two leaders. We want to pull it that direction, so we're going to aim to get the leader on the back side. If I was really worried about it splitting apart, I could throw both leaders and tie them together and pull them in, pull them together, but I don't think it's going to split. So we'll pull from the back one. It does have any failures. We've got the wedges. It'll go over with wedges alone, but if there is any doubt, there is no doubt, so I always put a rope in it. Talk a bit about your uh, stardom days. <laughs> so now you've got to dance the bag around to try and get it where you want it. I wonder if you can... Oh, <laughs> so in basketball there, we call that a swish. Should be all right, I reckon. Yeah, that'll pull it over. It's not the biggest of branches, but it's not going to come off. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be fine. All right, so famous last words, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> so now we'll isolate it. I'm going to open up a training and assessment centre specifically aimed at untangling throat lines. Oh, yeah. Jesus. You might want to cut this. <laughs> it's just new. You need to stretch it out. So throw lines, when you get them brand new, you need to stretch them out to avoid or reduce this from happening. So you get one end, you tie it around like a... You tie it around like a tree or something and you go full extension and it just stretch the hell out of it. You can go as far as getting a, uh, like a carabiner and putting a mantis hitch on it or something and just really dragging it out. Uh, but you'll, if you do that, you will reduce the tangles that you get. So we're gonna pull it over. We're not using a carabiner. We're gonna tie a running bowline, pretty easy. Make a loop around whatever you wanna tie it around. Rabbit comes up out of the hole around the back of the tree, back down the hole. There we go, that's good enough, we'll send that up. And now we'll see how much rope we've got, hopefully we've got enough to go do a little pig rig around that uh, red gum down there. So this is a cow hitch. You go around the tree, and then you run it back around the tree. And then you bring the tail out where it came, you turn it into a girth hitch around the tree. So now we've got a girth hitch around the tree and I'm gonna do two half hitches on this. So 
The way I like to do it is a half inch around here first. Uh, it's not exactly the way the minimum industry standard says to do it, but that's how I do it because I think it holds better, but correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, okay, so I've got the cow hitch on. I don't need to worry about that tail. I've got a really long loop here because our rope's quite short and I want to make sure we've got enough. So we're going to have to pull it way out here. It's not, is it the best way to do it? No, you get a longer rope or you change your plan, but this will do, this will work. We had to retire a carabiner Oh, not a carabiner, one of these pulleys. Um, it was a slightly older one and the frame had bent out on it. We don't know how it happened, but uh, you've got to retire these things because if you don't, you'll be using it one day and it'll kill someone. So that's why inspections are really important of your equipment to make sure they are working. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so now we'll put a hitch around this. We've not got our proper rigging kit with us uh, for whatever reason uh, we're just going to improvise there is a climbing prusik we could use but i don't want to do that i'm just going to tie with this is it a dead eye sling I'm just going to tie a blake sitch okay so we want to wrap up four times seeing as it i actually don't want it to slide at all I'm not going to use it in a clo closed climbing system. I'm going to put a couple of extra wraps on it because I want to make sure it's it's static and it's not going to move. I could also just tie a um, Alpine butterfly in here, but I like the idea of the option of if something does go wrong, a wind changes and it all goes to hell, we find out the tree's rotten inside, which it's not. Um, we have the option to keep pulling so we can Pull it tight, capture the progress, and then slide this up, okay? So that's what I want to have the ability to do. So I'm then gonna pull it, loosen it off a bit and bring it up behind the main line. And it's very messy. I'm not giving a very good lesson on how to tie a Blake's hitch at the moment. So for a Blake's hitch, you must have two wraps and two wraps and it come out in the middle somewhere. You can have two and three or three and three or, or ten and ten. Um, to make it a proper Blake hitch you need to tie a stopper knot in the end here. So tie a stopper knot in the end here because they're known to creep. It's not going to be used for climbing, it's just used for a one-off one -off thing so it should, it should hold. And it holds that but we'll see how it goes under, uh, under load and if we need to we can slide it up the rope in an emergency. So we need to put a progress capture on this. Yeah, that'll work fine. And I think the distance between there and there, we might even adjust it. Slide this up. Just in case. Yeah, so we're just going to tie another Blake's hitch here. So if you don't go with the Blake's hitch, if you don't go behind the rope and you go on top of the rope, it's then called a suicide knot. So you must go behind this red rope here or underneath it. And then it's not called a suicide knot and we're not committing suicide by using it. If you've got the option in rigging between steelies and alloys, go for steelies. They're just generally stronger. They're usually around 50 kN. Um, so they're generally stronger. They can take a bit more of a battering. So again, we need a stopper knot in the end. Okay, so let's see how this works. So it does work. However, I'm just going to I just don't like cross-loading carabiners, so we'll girth hitch it onto the carabiner so it has less chance of cross-loading the carabiner. So if it's girth hitched on, it's less likely to bugger up on us. This carabiner here is rated to 24 
kilonewtons. What is a kilonewton? It's a, it's a unit of four. So it's easy for us tree workers to think of it as weight, okay? 24 kilonewtons down. But 24 kilonewtons can be sideways, can be up. It's the force being pulled on it. So to make it understandable to us, 24 kilonewtons in this configuration, up and down, carabiners are strong this way, not this way. 24 kilonewtons means 2,400 kilos. A kilonewton is 101.97 kilograms, and you just round it to make it easier and a bit safer. So 24 kilonewtons means 2,400 kilos, 2.4 tonne. That's the MBS. That's most likely where it's gonna break at 2.4 tonne. So what's the safe working load of this? Safe working load will be a safety factor of 10, so 240 kilos. So I can climb on this, provided it's a climbing pulley. It's your pulley, I don't know, it might be a rigging pulley. Once it's a rigging pulley, it stays a rigging pulley. Uh, carabiner, it doesn't go back into the climbing kit. So say it is a climbing kit, um, carabiner. This is 240 kilos. You can put on this forever, indefinitely, until it fails inspection. So it gets worn or cracked or hits something and you deem it, or you use it for rigging one time. Um, so you can put 240 kilos on this every day forever, provided it passes inspection. So you won't breach the cycles to failure if you do that. Okay, so 240 kilos, I can drop on it all the time. If it gets to 2.4 ton, it's probably gonna break. So these carabiners are very strong this way. Now, in Australia, they've got to be a minimum of 22 kilonewtons to climb within the arb industry. However, if you see the other arrow there, it's got a little up and down arrow saying 24 and a little sideways arrow saying eight and another picture of a carabiner with an open gate saying eight kilonewtons. So this carabiner can hold 2.4 tonnes this way and only 800 kilos this way. It's a big difference. So if you put this carabiner in and it moves around and then it side loads like this, you're likely to break it. So you want to avoid that by girth hitching or clove hitching or, or something like that. So I'm going to go up, mark up the tree and drop it. Cool. Is there a sharp saw? Um, <laughs> turning this off. <laughs> <laughs> that never gets old huh that rush of wind never gets old yeah it's good that went over a shit that went over a lot easier than i thought yeah Yeah, it was alright. 
I went down a bit lower than usual because it had this had this on it and that on it and there could be anything going on in here so I decided to go a bit lower where I was pretty sure the grain would be nice uh, yeah true I'll, um, I'll start chopping it up yep Oh, <laughs> God damn it. Break it. Always tap them like this. Always tap them like this. Never tap it like this. That's better. day working till all my sunset I love trees trees are beautiful they're my life